learn how to make a GoPro mount, the female version of the mount. Uh, you know, you can recognize this as the part that the screw goes into. Um, all right. So basically, of course, what you need to do first is always take your measurements. So um, once we've done that, this is what I did. I started with a sketch. Basically, there's two parts. Number one, this is the base of this of the of the mount, and then this is the vertical prongs that you know are going to be attached to. So, um, you know, take the take the measurements, do the radius, add the circle here. Um, then I extruded both pe both pieces. All right. Uh, once there, these are extruded to the desired width that we want, around five mils, I believe it was. Then I align the pieces together in place. Um, after this, I copied and pasted this part uh, a couple more times, right, to to get the three the three prongs that we need. Then I merged them all into one single item or uh, um, body. And after that, we move into a different sketch to make the holder part for the for the nut, for the acorn nut. So what I did here, let's hide this for a second. And let's hide this. So I knew that I wanted um, to make, I had to design it in a way that it would be easy to print. So what I did was this inclined, um, this inclined surface over here that I'm going to revolve around, you'll see in a second, like this. And then when this is vertical, then the overhangs are going to be limited, right? So then what I do here is subtract the extrusion from the hexagonal piece where the nut is going to go into then um, we want to align this with our the rest of our mount and now that everything is in place then we make it into one single body and there you go so now what we can do is save it and then go into our models and then we're going to be able to uh, import it into the other projects that we have and, and just merge the, merge the body and incorporate it into whatever we want. Alright, now let's uh, move ahead and, and do the base where the actual mounting of the GoPro is going to. Alright, so let me show you how we do this. Uh, part of the build, like finalize it. Um, basically what I did was I started with a sketch. Um, started with a sketch of a hexagon. I did it this way so that it was easy to grab, hold on to and if you you know needed a wrench to tighten it harder or whatever you can use that. And I made a circle with the diameter that we want. In this case, um, you know, 10 millimeters. Uh, then I extruded the whole area, the whole area of the hexagon, um, to make the cap because I also extruded the hexagon without the circle, which is where the thread is going to be placed. Then I moved the top, the cap, uh, to its position at the top. I merged them into one body. Then. When I added the, oops, I added the threading. Basically, what you do is you go over here, you say thread, and then select the surface, and you select the type of threading that you want here. And you want to make sure that you click modeled so you actually see the threading. Otherwise, you get like a weird image. Anyway, from here, I uh, imported the our um, GoPro mount attachment, place them on the position that we wanted. Here, let me get rid of the 
sketches here. And then uh, merge them into one body. And that's basically, that's basically it. Now you can uh, select it and save it, in as a, save it as an STL and then um, print it. Cool. Let's look how that turned out. I just want to mention here that after I broke the cooling fan that comes with the printer, this has this setup with this blow this fan has given me probably the best quality of print like look at that with no real modifications there's no warping there's no Z switches, there's no blobs, there's no ringing, there's nothing. Just a thought. <clears throat> Alright. I've removed the support, so it's the moment of truth. Let's try to fit this in. Yeah, it screws in. Problem is, it's still kind of loose, but it does it does hold it. I think uh, I'm gonna have to reduce the um, tolerance for the screw in the software. So let's do that and give it another go. So I couldn't. I couldn't reduce the thread uh, the thread tolerance in Fusion 360. So um, actually, I'm thinking I might have I might have measured the thread wrong. Maybe it's an M9. I don't know. Um, but right now my printer is tied up in on other things. So um, what I did was I put some blue painters tape to see if uh, this will work. Um, I tried Teflon tape, but it was too thin, and it wasn't really threading it. So let's see if this will work. Cause I mean, there we go. That's pretty tight. All right, and as you can see, I was able to put the acorn nut. It's an M5 acorn nut. That's uh, for for GoPros, um, and then. Yeah, so the reason I got it, I made this is this is one of those microphone stands for uh, for 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 studios, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as a base to um, you to put the GoPro in so I can work underneath and you can see my hands more easily. So yeah, awesome. All right, so in, in order to fix the problem that we had with our thread size down here, uh, we're gonna do this. We should have an M10, an M9 instead of an M10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click over here and now we're gonna fix this. We want an M9 screw. And okay, and then that's it. Let's save it. Save the description. Now let's export it. Oh, let's uh, let it save it. Let's export it, select it. Save as STL. Cool. Let's print it. So here it is, the new version um, with the M9 hole for the new screw. So now for the uh, for the screw. So let's uh, see if it fits. Oh, here. I'm not left-handed. There we go.
that's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty solid in there. Awesome. So this is the new setup. Um, the GoPro fits in there pretty well. It doesn't wobble and it works pretty fine. Uh, you should check it out. So now I can take videos like this. I can uh, go in here and then I can show you different stuff if I'm working on anything or drawing on anything. Awesome. Thanks. See you guys later. If you enjoyed this or any of my other videos or content, please check out my grad school fun page right here. Or if you'd rather, consider a donation through PayPal over here. All the proceeds will go towards my education and will help me immensely. Links are also in the show notes. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching.